Hello friend, this is Paper Kitty. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be working with this fun little eyelet slash grommet set. But I did find a video that um, gave me an idea on how this works. And so I will be linking that in the description box below in case you want to take a look at it. It's actually having to do more with leather. But um, anyway... I just uh, thought it was a decent little video, and so I'm going to attempt to do it, uh, to use these um, tools the way I believe that they are to be used. So basically, I'm not really 100% sure what all of these are for. I know, for example, that this one is probably going to be for this smaller one, and so it will fit this one and then there's the bigger one and this bigger one is going to we're going to use this one for that so we're going to go ahead and give this a try i do have the the smaller one and the larger one and i'm making a tag flip i didn't want to finish the project until i knew a little bit better what i was going to do now in this case, I went ahead and used um, a hole punch, which is basically going to be for that. And so usually the way I understand it is that you use this to make the right size hole in your material. Because this is usually used with fabric. But um, I like, I want to use it with, you know, with, with this these uh, very thick tags and because they are very thick I think that I like this method better than my crocodile. Um, so again I'm, I'm still debating I want to use the bigger one because these are bigger tags and so I'm going to attempt to use this one let me see if I can let's see yeah I think this is the adapter so yeah because there's a smooth part on this and then there's a like a rougher part so you want the rougher part facing up so when you put this through you know there you have it and so then you got this here right and then um, you could probably just start here with this and then we're gonna punch that real nice and good and then um, see okay how that worked out now the good thing is at least I have a a nice firm hold on on through here but this part didn't really attach as well this little thing helps the the whole thing not to move so that's helpful right there it looks like it's a better fit right there I don't know if you could see that but I think that's gonna work best okay All right, let's see how that worked out. Okay, okay, so that's very secure, and that's really what you want. That's the bottom line of it, so. Uh, okay, and so I really like that. I, I feel like uh, this is uh, this is well put together, and you know, you do kind of have to be careful with, you know, maybe, um, hitting it too hard with the hammer because then the color kind of you can kind of I guess punch it out a little bit but yeah okay so I'm, I am liking these larger grommets I think I could put maybe some thicker fabric or it'll be easier to put some fabric on these like that so there's this one here and I'm gonna continue to work on this tag and finish embellishing it and uh I will do a video, God willing, showing you the end of that, how, how this tag flip comes out. Um, then you got this cutie pie. So these are the other ones I have, and I'm trying to figure out the colors that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and see what colors. You got to go face down on that. And then the this thing like that. And then maybe this is, goes like that, I don't know. That's possibly the way it goes, perhaps. 
You know, the point is you gotta have a good sandwich. Okay, so see the back still comes out, but the front is pretty attached. I could probably do a little bit better with it. Let's see, this is good like that. Okay, all right. Well, this one worked out really well. So this one is perfect. I love it just the way it is. It came out perfect. So, like I said, I kind of had to, you know, play around with them a little bit to kind of get them to work the way I want it to because, again, we're dealing with things that usually aren't for fabric the way that's going to look. And I'm excited to complete these tags and show you how it all turns out. I also have a few other little things that I'm going to be showing you, which is with the items that I received from BB Craft. Hello there. I'm going to uh, drop in real quick and show you how I use this punch. I really actually like it. It is fairly heavy duty, so I can use it with cardboard. And uh, this is the one and a half punch, which is the bigger. And uh, it, it just cut it, as you could see, very nice and clean. So I really like the quality. And I have this little fabric heart that I needed it to be kind of turned into a chipboard, if you will. And so that worked out perfect. I want to put it on this here. And so I'm going to be um, using a little fabric tack to adhere that. And um, yeah, I just wanted to review the, um, the punch. I haven't used the other punches yet, but so far this big punch, I absolutely love it. I do think it is very good quality. Uh, because it went right through and uh, and, and it is um, cardboard, you know, like cereal box cardboard. So I thought that was really good. I'd be interested to see how it works with paper, but I think um, so far it, it's pretty substantial. You know, it's not very lightweight. Um, so I like that. I think it's a, it's a good product. So I just wanted to pop in. I'm going to see how I can incorporate this into the, the videos. Or BB craft hey there coming back to you with this project working on the book charm and so here I am going to be kind of mixing some of these with some of the things I think I want to use together possibly I mean it's not definitely but this is kind of how I like to kind of add different elements here and uh, these are the kind of the things that I had taken out, and this is for the this tag flip. I haven't finished it all together, but I kind of want it to go with that. And so um, I really like this, but I don't feel like this goes with these as much. And I'm definitely wanting to use these BB Craft beads. So I think everything else is looking really good. So there's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start thinking about using these so this is what I've got and of course I added uh, some of these elements myself that I already had because I like to kind of mix them together so I'm gonna go ahead and measure out about five inches and I'm gonna cut with this little plier one that looks like a little plier cutter. So I'm going to go ahead and snap that real good. I want to have a clasp on one end, so I need to get that. And it did come in, in the bag with the kit. It did have this little set of mine. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, the one, let's see, the this one here that is the lobster clasp and a jump ring so I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, this one that holds it on one side right we're gonna find where the opening already is kind of see where it is and then okay this okay this one's a little bit more 
front of me here. Okay, so then you just push it towards you because you don't want to open it left to right. You want to open it north and south. Little lobster clasp right through there, see? And um, go ahead and get the little chain. Put it through. And there you got it. There you have it. Okay, and then we're going to get another little... <clears throat> Tool here that will allow me to bring it back and uh, make sure it's nice and closed and so now you have the little laps lobster clasp at the top and you got this chain down here and then on the bottom you want to have something that dangles now you could have more than one item I guess it just depends on how I want to do this and it does look like I'm going to end up using uh, more jump rings than I bargained for, apparently, because, um, yeah, okay, so let me, let me just do that for right now, because that's what we got so far. Okay, so this is how we, we're getting started here, like, so far. And that's why I did it five inches only, instead of more, because I figured... After I put the tassel or the longer thing, you know, it's going to end up being uh, from from the from one end to the other. It's we're now at seven and three quarters long, so I felt that that's why I put five. If you're going to put something long there, you have to consider that. Um, so yeah, now to put this little pearl in here and to put these little deals on there, I'm going to have to make these into things that I can hang on, uh, gotta make them into like little charms. And so I have these eye pins that already have the little eye little thing here. I don't know if you could see that, but. Okay, and so what we do is we put this through here. Now, you wanna make sure that it's not too small that it's gonna go through the hole, obviously, because it's gotta be snug. And you could put like a little crown or a little something else to kind of make it look prettier. But I'm going to keep it a little simpler this time around and just kind of, because I've got all this other party going on there. So I think we're going to be okay with that. So I'm going to go ahead and get the little plier like thing and cut it. Um, I would say where I have probably like a half an inch. Um, left right be careful with this little stuff because that will get in your pet's paws and be very very sad so now I'm going to use this one which is like a rounded one these little bits are, are like round okay and so then now grab. I'm going to grab the tip and I'm going to twist all the way until I've made like a complete circle and I'm gonna keep doing that until I close it so here we have it this is the simplest way like I said you if I did put like a little more like a little crown or a little something to hold the bead together make it blingier then you know I would use I would have cut less of that but you know it you won't know that until you have it put together and you you could make it more embellished that way but this is a simple a simple way to do that and so here I could probably use the same uh, jump ring and I think I will use the same jump ring and this jump ring is like I usually use a six millimeter but I think this one might be seven or eight so it is quite bigger, which is, I kind of like that because, uh, especially for this project, um, you know, I can, I can hang more little charms on just one. So, uh, so yeah, I went ahead and, so this is what it looks like. I don't love that it's got like a little bit of an uneven thing going on there. So, so I'm going to cut another piece. Uh, I'm going to measure about, I would say about two inches long. I think that's plenty. 
You know, it's not perfectly two inches. Yes, sir, I am. But it's uh, two inches. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, I have family in the house and they don't always know that I'm doing stuff, so. Um, and then I have a dog, so that's another thing. But okay, so see how these little things, they have a hole on the top and the bottom. So same thing, I'm gonna grab one of these um, little eye pins. Now, if you don't have the ones with the little um, circle on the bottom, it's okay because I wish I had another one of these, but if you don't, there's another thing you can do. Um, Cause in essence, you know, some of the ones that don't have this circle here, um, when you twist this to, to close it up after you cut it, um, that's going to be the circle there. So, so if you want to keep, you know, if you want to have something to hang onto the charm, you're still going to have that, even if you don't have that little eye. So that makes any sense. Okay. So again, I'm going to leave about a half inch, maybe a little less. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to hold on to it so that that little small piece doesn't fly into my eye or somewhere else. I'm going to hold that. Got this little tool, twist it about. Twist it. Twist it and twist it. Some more. So yep, yeah, I've I've twisted pretty good. Um keep doing it. I'm gonna keep doing it until I'm happy with it. Cause this one's not like closing all the way. I'm not sure. Sometimes I guess that happens, but kind of have to play around with it a little bit sometimes okay so then now this one's I think this one's good now pretty content with it okay so then on this side I can hang it on this side or this side but I like the way that the original side is better right now so um, okay so I do feel like I needed a third item so I think I might hang that on the other side which means I don't need another jump ring I could just use the same one and because it's a little bit bigger, I can use my fingers. I don't even really need my tools for it, but um, I do like to use my tools though, honestly, because I feel like I have a better grip on things like that. So, all right. So this one's a little interesting. It's a little different because obviously it's just a little pom-pom. So, but um, what you do, is you get a little eyelet and what I do and maybe other people do something different is I go ahead and use the tacky the um, fabric glue and put a little bit in the tip or like in the middle ish maybe and and then you just kind of stab this through the middle and you kind of go like that maybe not all the way through so that you can leave an opening that little opening at the top and so I just kind of leave it there for a little bit for it to dry um, before I go and continue with the thing so I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it a minute while we do another one and like I said even if I don't actually use these exact ones you know like I said, I, I will change them around, but at least I'll have them already made. Now this this little bow is going to be sideways because of the way that is. So. Let's see if we can do that. Yep. Now see how that went through? It went all the way through, so that's not going to work. Okay, so I got this one, and then this here. All right, and then this one. Let's see what that, how that works. Okay, I like that. That's good. I like it. And I'm going to cut. Okay, let me try to do this again here. All right, let's see if we can go all the way through and I'm going to try to put this. Oh, okay, it broke. That's what happened to that. All right, let's, let's try this one again. Okay, there we go. 
So now I'm going to twist it about. And there we go. Alright. <clears throat> if you've been crafting for any amount of time, you'll know that most of the crafting is um, basically coming up with solutions to oopsies often, quite often. Alright, so I'm sorry if you hear background noise. Hopefully not. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hang this from that little chain. You know, the, the jump ring. Uh, or actually the other, I guess I'm trying to say, um, you know, there's a chance I could have done that and avoided having to use a jump ring, you know. But honestly, it's easier to just use another jump ring. So I don't want to overly complicate myself. And so I'm going to just use that. And uh, I'm going to hang it, I think, from about here because, you know, that's about right. So I'm going to go ahead and, again, get another little jump ring. See if I can do that. And add here this at about this height. All right. Close it up. All right. And so here we have this so far. Very cute. Um, yeah. Definitely feel like I uh, probably want to put one more little chain from the top perhaps. So I'm gonna cut that chain probably a little smaller because I did two inches last time and now I feel like maybe uh, like a inch and a half is gonna be plenty. So I'm gonna do an inch and a half, cut it. Okay, so um, I want these little cherries. Now the little cherries already have like a little loop where I don't really need to have another, like I don't need to, to do the eye pin. I could just, um, here let me use my tools because like I said, I feel like if I, if I use my finger, I can use my fingers, but then I think it's, there's more room for error there. Okay, so see there, that, that worked perfectly like that. They're not, not needing to do that, so okay. So now I've got this, I'm gonna close it up. And then I've got I've got this like that and then like I said I could probably make it um, kind of fall from this jump ring here okay let's see how we're, how we're doing here so far all right okay well that's good I'm gonna go ahead and continue to make these try to put this little pom-pom and so now it's already like glued and now I can cut like I said just leaving a little tail there snip it right there get the white one twist it about until you get a nice um, nice circle there and maybe I have to do it again a little bit more because Okay, so that's good. And then, all right, let me go ahead and hold on to it with this. There it is. And so now I'm gonna put this little guy right here. And then I'm gonna close it. And then I think we're gonna be good. I think we're gonna be good. All right, let's see. Grab it from there. Okay, okay, I am liking. I'm liking, I'm liking. I see a little more balance. Um, on the bottom there, but I feel like I need to definitely put some more. So I'm going to keep working on these. And uh, I think I had already put one here. I sure did. And it looks like I wanted that candy, but see, I'm working bigger to smaller. So I still want to kind of see which, which is the next kind of bigger thing. It would be like this one, even though. Yeah, I think this one would be great, actually. I love that color combination. That's going to be pretty. So, yeah, I think that's going to look good there. Okay. So, let me get that deal there. And put it, this is like a stronger green mint green color. 
Okay, so good thing is this doesn't go through, so I don't need to put anything in between. And uh, so all I need to do is just cut it and then twist this around with the round one, the rounder-ish, the one that rounds things. Okay, and so now I've got this and I'm going to put it directly into this jump ring. Yep. Let's try that again. Um, there it is. Okay. So, alright. I'm going to go ahead and hang it from there and then close it up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it from there again okay okay i'm liking that it's coming out cute liking that and then um yeah i'm gonna keep keep working here i do i have a fairly larger bit that i got from the uh ones we've been working on and uh, i want to see if i can uh turn this one into a Arm. So let me, let's see if we can pull that off. Okay, it looks like we might be able to pull it off on one end so far. Okay. And then this side, let's see if I can, it's barely going to work. Let's see. Okay, as long as it works, but it's, it's pretty tight there. Well, that's good. I think that's good. I think I'm going to hang it from the jump ring so that the clasp is coming. And the second reason is, well, that's the main reason, but also because, you know, the less waste, you know, it's better. Okay, so you got the little heart right off of there. I don't know if I love that. I think I do, though. I think I like it a lot. Okay. All right, so I still want to kind of put some in between. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, be sure and give me a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, I appreciate that and I think you will enjoy it. So be sure and press the subscribe button. Love you so much. Love you so much. See you in the next one. Bye now.